What's up YouTube, Maha Campers coming back at you again with another video and it's entirely too early to be working on this stuff. Yeah, gotta get it done. Anyway, today we're gonna be working on this piece. This piece comes, is a side panel, comes off of the bow of the boat. You can see it's stitched here, but when we replace it, I'm gonna create a seam here with, and we won't be needing to use any stitching or sewing. So, let's get into this. And uh, basically we're just gonna start here and start disassembling this piece. I'm gonna cut the vinyl here along our line. I'm gonna remove everything back. I'm gonna keep the vinyl on here because I'm concerned about holding this shape here because this is put together real cheesy. This is one piece of wood is here. The other piece of wood goes back here. So there's a joint. But as you see, if you get the angle wrong, you know, it causes a wrinkle in the material. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep it how it is, and then what I'm gonna do is just clean up these areas uh, where it's cracked. I'm gonna just kinda cut around them and pull them out. Then I'm gonna cover over this, I think, and that's what I did on the last one and it worked really well. But I was able to keep this bend the way it is. So this gave us this little piece. And once we fold the vinyl over, it shouldn't, we shouldn't be able to see it. So if you take the vinyl and just put it over, you can kind of see it should work just fine. But it'll be protection against the edge of the wood here. And as you can see, the factory didn't install it very well either. They've got this cut wide open. When we go to put it back on, I'll show you a way that we'll be able to get it to wrap over both sides. This obviously was the bottom. With that being said, I'm gonna mark my top. Okay, just marked in my top edge. Kind of also drew some lines where my screw holes are so I can come back through. Come back later and poke through the material so that that screw will go in easy. All right guys, so for this part, we're gonna be using uh, 3M high strength uh, 90. You can also use uh, 77, or you can even use the DAP um, contact adhesive that you have to use from a spray gun for this. But I'm just going with the, uh, the strongest um, canned adhesive I could find. So that's what we're gonna use. And to use this stuff, you gotta let it, uh, you spray it on. Both uh, the way the contact adhesive works is you got to spray it on the material and your substrate, um, let it dry, and then we'll put it on. And it actually sticks better as you add pressure once it's dry. So I'm going to go ahead and get a coating on.
Then you can go the other direction to get maximum coverage. Now I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for about 10 minutes and then uh, we'll come back and I'll show you how we're going to put it on. Alright guys, let's get into it here. And this is just how I did the other one, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Um, so, first things first. What I want to do, make sure I got enough length on the back end because we're going to be doing a seam here which I'll show you in a little bit and then you want enough to wrap over the front so and side to side so make sure you're in the middle and that looks about good so I'm going to position it on here or I'm really concerned about the bend I'm sorry so now that I've got it right where the bend is because I want to maintain that exact bend as you can see, it doesn't want to curve this direction. So what I'm going to use is my heat gun. Heat the vinyl up on both sides of this guy. And then we're going to try to force it around the bend. And it's slowly getting there. And using the heat gun is also going to be able to, how we're going to be able to wrap it all the way around. And then keep working it around. And that's really looking good. Okay. Okay. And once I get it to here, we can also stretch it. So I'm going to go ahead and curve it over the top and then I'm going to come back to this side and we're going to do the same thing try to get it to just fold right over okay and we're over so the hard part we got worked out here now that we've got it down like this all we're going to do is slowly start to pull it tight here and then get our staples going the other thing I'm going to do real quick is I need to fold this part back a little bit to show you what we're gonna do with our seam here so this is kind of a cool little trick that I discovered when I took apart the main side panels I'm just gonna cut into this foam right where we've made our line I'm cutting all the way down to the board. Okay, looks like I've cut all the way down now. Now what I'm gonna do is slowly work this foam back because I don't wanna rip my foam, but I wanna get it, it's adhered to the board with adhesive. And I'm just trying to break that adhesive because what we're gonna do, okay, now that I've got the foam folded back far enough, what we're gonna do is this is just gonna fold right down into here, underneath the foam. And that's what's gonna give us the blue part of this seam. Okay, so that feels pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and work this part down. And we may have to do some trimming of that piece. And what's gonna happen is, see this foam piece will come back down, then we'll come back in and put our white going back and it'll make a nice little seam here. So I'm just gonna start working it on, working the vinyl down. Cool. Now I'm just gonna go around, pull it tight, and then staple on the back.
and cut as I need and use the heat gun as I need. I may or may not need the heat gun again. And then as I go, I'm just going to continue working it from both sides. Pulling it from each side, stretching it both this direction, backwards and down at the same time, and that'll help pull these wrinkles out. And then we're just going to continue to do that up this direction. And then I'll come back and uh, show you how we, we're going to do this and this here. All right, so this part's a little tricky. We've got where we're gonna make our seam. What we've got to do is we have to get um, the white vinyl started in here first, and then we're gonna wrap it back toward the back. It can be somewhat tricky here.
last step get them reinstalled in the boat and then you're done and that pretty much wraps it up for this video guys as always be sure to check out the description for links to our stores as well as any other information and i've got one more video coming up just to finish off the upholstery on this boat for you guys and then of course we've got the exterior vinyl wrap video coming up so stay tuned for those check out all the rest of our videos in this playlist and as always please like subscribe share and comment peace